Hello, hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Kel. Today is Friday, February the 5th and it's 9.26 tonight. Um, I know everybody probably um, doing the debut of um, Coming to America and I'm going to get into it myself um, once I finish making this nice, sweet, delicious treat I got for y'all guys today. Today, um, recipe is going to be strawberry shortcake, a quick strawberry shortcake snack. Um, it's not going to be the whole strawberry cake like we normally do. It's going to be something quick and fast if you want to um, just come home from work or coming from wherever you're coming from. Um, it's going to be a short dessert, quick, fast. It, um, it don't even take no bake time. It just going to, the only time it's going to bake is just the cake that you're going to make from scratch. Or you can make it from the box. What I'm doing tonight is a box cake because I don't have time for the cookies from scratch tonight. I got two jobs and plus I'm tired. Plus, I got to get up in the morning and go do my other gig. So, tonight is going to be a strawberry shortcake, quick, fast, just a little snack, something my mama taught me a long time ago. And I'm going to show you guys how to make it. Um, if you just want to do it, want to treat yourself, and it's very good, y'all. So, it's very good. So, if you want to treat yourself to this here little snack, um, just stay tuned. Um, get ready. I'm going to show you guys how to make it. And when I come back, I'm going to show you all the ingredients. So stay okay, folks, I'm back. And this is the ingredients you're going to need. You're going to need your two pints of strawberries. Um, you can get the large or small. These here the small versions. Um, also, you're going to need some. I'm doing, it, like I said, a, a quick cake today. So I'm going to use the box cake today instead of making it from scratch. Because, like I said, I'm pushing for time. Got to go to work in the morning. So I'm just going to make this nice, short sweet treat for y'all guys tonight you're going to need your box of duncan hind cake mix and you're going to follow this recipe as instructed on the back of the box you're going to follow the recipe as it goes you're going to need three eggs which you see right here you're going to need three eggs you're going to also need some whipping cream um this is what i put on mine if you don't want to use the whipping cream you can use the stiff um whipping cream or the cream topping it's up to you you're also going to need some sugar. That's what I got in this bowl here. Some sugar. You're going to need uh, a cake pan. Uh, today I'm going to use a bump pan for the little cake that I'm making. You're going to also need your um, cake mixer, which you can see right there. Um, you're going to need some portion paper. You're going to need some vegetable oil. And I always use um, the pan for the um, bake with. Um, you can use this if you want. If not, you can um, also do the old school. Take your cake pan, pan and um, butter it up with butter or flour. However you want to do it is up to you. But I use this here. It's real easy um, when I'm doing a rush job. You're going to need your bowl for the um, strawberries. You're going to use this bowl to um, put the strawberries in after we cut them up. And, um, and we're going to wash them as well. You're also going to need your cake pan. Um, a plate that I got parchment paper. That's another thing I say for the parchment paper. You can wrap your plate up. I don't like to um, put my cake on a plain plate. I like, you know, because it's easy to clean up when you put the parchment paper on there. So you're going to put the parchment paper on there when you put the cake, the bun cake on top of that. So you're going to need that. You're going to need your um, a little knife. This is just my little knife for when I'm cutting a um, little bit of stuff up. You're going to also need your half a um, cup. This is a half a cup, y'all of um, vegetable oil for that also you're going to need your um your your measuring cup um you're just going to need a cup of water for to go inside that cake mix because um this here cake recipe for duncan Hines, i mean well i'm sorry better cracker um it just called for like you say here go the recipe right here you just call for three eggs a half a cup of vegetable oil and one cup of water so you want to follow the box um instruction to bake that cake um, like I said, if I was doing it from scratch, it'd be different because I'd be, um, have more ingredients than doing it from scratch. But like I said, I'm pushing for time today. So, bear with me on this here. But it's just a little strawberry shortcake snack. Quick, fast strawberry shortcake that I like to make that I was taught by my mom a long time ago. How to make this delicious treat. So, stay tuned. We're going to get ready when I come back. We're going to come back and we're going to, um, start cutting these strawberries up here I'm taking the leaves off and uh, we're going to peel them and then we're going to also wash them so when i come back i'll show you how we're going to do that stay tuned 
All right, folks, welcome back again. We're going to start um, preparing the strawberries. So we're going to make the strawberry stuff first. So the only thing you're going to do is take these strawberries. If you can see me, take the strawberry. We're going to pluck. Just pull that green part right on out like that. You're going to take your knife and you're going to cut the little part off there. And it should be looking like this. And then we're going to dump that into the bowl. So we're going to cut these up. Like I said, you're going to take it, take the green part off, and be careful, don't slice your hand, we're going to off your fingers. We're going to take it, and we're going to have it just like that. Because we're going to dump this, when we finish cutting all these up, we're going to cut all these bad boys up. We're going to slice the top off again. And we're gonna, if you got any bad ones, just pick it out. And some of them you can savage and save, but if not, throw it away. So we're gonna wash those. But so far, this is a good batch I picked up at um, Win Dixie today. Um, my, my sister came down and um, we went and made a little grocery stuff like that. So she'd be looking out for me and I appreciate her, you know. She's been a big help and um, I love my sister just like I love my kids and everybody that I deal with, you know. So, I'm going to continue doing this. So, I'm going to go ahead on, continue doing these strawberries. And then, when I come back, we're going to go wash them. And I'm going to show you how you do it. So, stay tuned. All right, folks. I'm back again as we run. Now, this is how your strawberries should look um, when you finish cutting them up. Now, we're going to take some water. We're going to wash these bad boys off. Um, what you normally can do is you have some um, apple cider vinegar or... Uh, um, you can wash them like that and um, and just make sure you get all the dirt, the crumbs or whatever that's on these things. Make sure you wash them real good. You want to wash them a few times, drain them, wash them again, drain them. Make sure because sometimes, you know, they have them little seeds and um, you got to make sure your food is clean these days, especially with this COVID-19 going on. So you're going to wash that around in there. Make sure everything clean. You're going to wash these bad boys because you're going to um take these bad boys we're going to put them in the, um, the blender in a few minutes and we're going to make the um strawberry little sauce or whatever you want to call it a uh, syrup or not even a syrup but just a little sauce we're going to pour pulse that up in the um blender and that's what we're going to get our um strawberry um little strawberry sauce so let me wash this here Okay, let me pause for another minute. All right, folks, I'm back again. As you can see, I've incorporated the strawberries into the blender. So now what we're going to do, um, we're going to take some sugar. And I love putting the sugar. We're going to put that sugar in there. As a matter of fact, I'm using a spoon, but let me pour it in there. So you're going to put some sugar in there, make it sweet, make the strawberries sweet a little bit. I think that should be about enough right there. Um, I don't measure stuff, so if it needs some more sugar, I add to it. But I think that should be enough to cover the strawberries, because they already got their own the sweetness to it. So we're gonna do that. Um, okay, now what we're gonna do? Let's close the sugar up first. Now we're gonna take our lid, put our lid on top, and now with the strawberry, we're just gonna pulse it. You know, make sure I got everything. Make sure you. Bowl and stuff is um your blender bowl and thing is on tight. Make sure that so we're gonna pulse it. We're gonna just keep pulsing it. Keep pulsing it so it catches on to it. Just wanna keep pulsing it. You don't wanna turn it too much. I wanna, I wanna make sure that even if you got to hit it a little bit. Shake it. You want to make sure you keep pulsing it until everything is incorporated with the sugar. See how that's starting to come out? You don't want to grind it like you're making a smoothie. We just want to pulse it. And just to incorporate everything in there. There we go. Now that's what we that's the consistency we're looking for, because it's gonna be your your strawberry um um, sauce to put over your cake when wants to be on when we finish baking the cake so there we go now that's enough of that 
Now we're going to stop that. You finish with that. Now we're going to take this here. You can put it into a bowl or whatever you have. I got bowls and stuff that I put it in and you're going to refrigerate this. Um, it stays in the refrigerator. Um, you know, once you finish your cake, you can pour it over your cake and we're going to show you how to do all that. Well, I'm going to show you how to do all that once I finish. So we finished with this part. So stay tuned. I will be back and we're going to start making the cake, you know, which is going to be easy because it's a box cake. It's not made from scratch. It's a box cake. So I'm going to take and I'm going to put this in the bowl, put it in the refrigerator, and then we're going to start on the cake when I come back. So stay tuned. All right, folks, I'm back again. Now we're getting ready to make the little cake. Um, it's a yellow cake that I'm making, and I say it's a box cake from the, from the get-go. So um, to make this cake, you know, it's simple ingredients because um, it is a box cake and it's not um, made from scratch. But um, usually I make my cake from scratch. But today, like I said, I'm pushing for time. I got to go to work in the morning. Plus, got other things to do. So let me set this camera right here so you can probably see what I'm doing. Uh, let me see. Can I get a focus? on what I need to do so we're gonna okay folks a little technical difficulty but we back so now we're gonna make the cake so we're gonna open up this cake mix uh, flour here and we're gonna dump that in there like that make sure you get all that out there like I said we're using the boss cake today so Betty Crop is the person that's providing this cake today. You will be dumping hines. So we're gonna crack open three eggs. Just the first egg here. Second egg here. And third egg here. Yeah, if I ain't got half of it on the darn dresser. I mean on the table. Okay, we're gonna crack those open. This recipe also calls for calls for a cup of water, so we're gonna use some fresh water. We're gonna put that as a cup. All right, it's a cup of water there. And I used to like to use my bottled water, folks. I don't use too much tap no more when I'm cooking. I use my bottled water, so we're gonna add that cup of water in there. And now. Also, a half a cup of Earl. You can use the vegetable Earl, or you can use whatever Earl you like, but I used to like do my vegetable Earl. Um, that's what I normally bake with, but you can use whatever Earl you want. Um, as long as it's good for baking and stuff like that. So now that we got all the ingredients in there, I also don't forget, I always like to, even though the cake recipe don't call for vanilla extract, but I'm using imitation in this one here because I, I like the pure vanilla. I got pure vanilla, but it's so darn expensive. So I used to take my little vanilla extract, put a little bit in there. Um, even though the recipe don't call for it, but I put it in there anyway, um, just to give it a little more flavor. And um, once you do that, we're gonna put this on the low. And we're gonna start blending, out, blending all this stuff together. All the way into the smooth and creamy. Make sure you get the edges, the sides. And this is a, just a plain yellow cake, folks. Um, usually you see me doing butter pecan cakes. Um, at one point in time, I was doing butter pecan cakes with the pecans on top and the um, butter cream filling. But now I'm doing a yellow cake. So this is going to be my like a pound cake for my um, strawberries. You're gonna blend this, you're gonna make sure you get those sides. Make sure you get everything in there. You don't wanna leave nothing, no powdery or nothing like that. You want it smooth. And this is the yellow cake, cake mix from um, Betty Cropper. You're gonna keep blending this. Sometimes you might have to till this to get some of that, that cake mix off the sides. And while I'm blending this, as you can see, I took, I pre, pre, um, sprayed my, um, cake pan, butt pan already with, um, some, um, bacon spray to keep it from sticking. So I already did that. I pre-prayed that already. Pre-did that already. 
And you're gonna mix this for about two minutes, folks. That's all. So it's nice and smooth, so it's creamy. And while I'm doing that, let me put my splash in there. Turn it off for one minute. Um, the egg's running. All right. Got my spatula, so when we get ready to take it out the um, bowl, make sure I get there, all of it out of there and put it into my bun pan. And basically, that's it with the um, cake mix, folks. You just make sure it's smooth. Like I said, you want to blend it, make sure it's smooth. Make sure all your ingredients in there. You lay that to the side for a minute. And you just want to keep blending and blending and blending. Nice and smooth. Make sure you get those sides. Make sure you get those sides down. Sometimes most of the stuff be on the sides. You be losing out. So come back at the top a little bit. Lift, lift it up a little bit. Make sure you get the top. And I'm also going to invest in me a one of those nice um, mixers because I love those cake mixers. I see some in Walmart. My sister got the industrial one, and um, I like her, the her so big, you know, so. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. One more round of mixing. All right, that's about two minutes on that. I'm gonna take, detach your, um, Mix it from your spoons. Try to get all that off there. When I was a kid, I used to love licking these here spoons, um, getting all that good cake batter off there. My mom used to always like, hey, here go the spoons. You can lick this here until the cake get done. When when I was a fat boy back then, husky. I used to love licking them. Every once in a while, I still lick these here. and um, That's why I probably got type 2 diabetes now, probably. From eating all this sugar, because I'm a sugarholic. And um, love me some sugar. All right, we're gonna take and put these in the dishwasher. Well, in the dish zinc, and we're gonna wash this here when I finish. All right, now we're gonna take our bunk pan, and we're gonna go ahead on and start putting this into the bunk pan like that. Make sure you get all that out there. Make sure you get all that out there. My cousin um want me to do her a uh, seven up cake. I'm, I'm gonna get to it as soon as I can. Um, also, like I said in earlier videos, um, that I'm gonna be start taking requests on baking because I'm gonna start selling on um, my product when I make them. But this, y'all gonna get the real deal. Y'all not gonna get no box cake. Y'all gonna get the real deal. Y'all gonna get it from scratch. Um, I wouldn't sell y'all nothing that I wouldn't buy. So I'm gonna do it from scratch for y'all. I still owe my ET out there in Baton Rouge. I haven't forgot about your ET. Um, I haven't forgot about you, Elmita. Uh, ain't Elmita? I ain't forgot about you. I'm gonna do your parties. And I'm also making eggnog parties. I'm just going to do the eggnog from scratch when I get a chance to do it. I've been moving in the process. I've been moving. So I'm kind of running behind on a lot of stuff that I need to do. Um, a lot of um, videos I should have been making. Um, but um, I was doing a lot of moving and stuff. So I want to um, make sure I start pushing these recipes and pushing these videos. And also... Um, like I said, I'm going to start marketing some of this stuff that I cook and bake. Not just um, desserts and stuff, but I also cook too. And I'm going to start selling my products and uh, start making some extra little cash. So one day when I get ready to retire, I ain't got to be, you know, this will be my thing until I open up my restaurant. Because I'm working on trying to get a restaurant open up too as well. Uh, once I get a lot of stuff straight and organized and get myself organized with a lot of stuff. 
I will be um, looking to open up my first restaurant and then from there hopefully I'll change the restaurant so I got some big dreams you know um, I wish my mama could have been here to see some of this stuff um, but she already knew how to throw down because she the one taught me but I wanted some, I had big plans for her but the Lord had other plans herself so you know but with that said but she taught me everything um, mostly I know and then I have the restaurant business for five years and I also went to um, a Scott um culinary school for, um, for a little bit until she got sick and then I had to um, leave the school to take care of her and um, i do it any time, any day, any given day again if I had to. Um, you only get one mama, folks. You only get one mama, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to get out of there. Toss like that. We're going to take this cake, we're going to put it in the place in the oven for 38 minutes. So I'm going to put this in the oven. All right, let me clean up my mess because we got egg running all over the place. And we kind of keep everything clean. I'm trying to keep everything clean. I don't know why I keep saying we, but I was so used to it, I guess. But I'm trying to keep everything clean. I like my new little spot. I like my little place. And thank God for everything that he blesses me with. I love you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, you know, for everything that you do for me, Lord, each and every day. Thank you for the skills of cooking and baking. Um, Thank you for those skills, you know, so... You can do anything you want, and you can be what you want. You just don't give up on your dreams, you know? I'm going to come back with a towel with that. You got to get that out. So, so, while this cake is in the oven baking, let me set my timer. I don't have a, a timer on the oven at this, at this apartment like I used to have at the other one. So I'm going to set it through the microwave. So my time is going to be 38 minutes. So 30, I'm going to set my timer to 38 minutes and start. And then push on. And it's going to count down. Oops, sorry folks. I meant to put 30. You go off, you do what I tell you to do. We're going to put that at 38 minutes. And then on. All right, now it's gonna count down and we're gonna have a nice, delicious golden cake. So let me get my mess cleaned up. And folks, after, let me flip it if I can. I think I wanted to flip it back to me, but I uh, guess I can't. But anyway, folks, the cake is in the oven baking. That's gonna be 38 minutes. Right now it's 37 and counting down. Um, I'm going to go ahead on and clean up my little mess, put everything back together. Um, and once um, I clean up and the cake is done, I'm going to get back with you guys and show you the outcome and show you how everything looks. And we're going to have us a little quick strawberry shortcake made by Kelvin Ramsey. Cooking with Kel, y'all. Y'all own with Cooking with Kel. And for the people that haven't subscribed to my page yet on YouTube, go and subscribe. Hit the like button. Make comments. You know... And um, subscribe to your boy. Your boy trying to do do his thing, you know. So, so hit me up. I'm also on Facebook and I'm also on Instagram. Facebook, Mr. Scorpio Ramsey, as usual. Instagram, Mr. Scorpio Thirteen. So, hit me up, folks. And on YouTube, my YouTube channel is just Calvin Ramsey. I had two YouTube channels. I still do have two YouTube channels, but it's hard to keep up with two channels. So, I only use the one now for everything. Even when I'm doing my little talk show, I'm doing Cooking with Kel, and I'm doing, and the, the channel is Kelvin Ramsey. So go check it out. Check out my videos. I got plenty more to come. I'm going to make this thing happen. Me and Jesus are going to make this thing happen. We're going to blow this stuff up. So I'm going to keep cooking. I'm going to keep doing what I got to do until I make it, you know. I'm going to make this thing happen, and I can't do it without Jesus, you know. So, Lord... He's watching over me. He's doing what he's doing. I know my mom up there watching over me. 
And they probably, all three of them probably up there looking saying, yeah, he's going to be somebody. I know I'm going to be somebody. So, but anyway, um, let me clean up and I'm going to get back with you guys in a few and show y'all how everything turned out. And once I edit the video, y'all will see everything on YouTube or either Instagram or Facebook. It depends on which one I feel like putting on. I'm going to put them on all of them anyway so it can spread. I want that thing to spread like this here Corona, you know? So... I'll see y'all guys in a few, about another 35 minutes, and I'm going to show y'all how it turned out. So see, stay tuned and see y'all later. All right, welcome back, folks, and welcome to part two of this video. Um, I'm cooking my simple strawberry shortcake. You can make it as quick and easy. <clears throat> you don't have to go through the whole process to make this little short dessert. Um, this is the quick one that I learned how to make through my mom a, a long time ago. So I'm going to flip this camera now and show you how the cake turned out. Look how beautiful that is. <clears throat> Look how gorgeous that is. And it's still hot right now, so I really don't want to touch it too much, but it's real hot right now. And I'm going to leave this cake plain because I'm going to use this here. This is going to be like my pound cake. But it's a yellow cake mix I did from the box. It wasn't from scratch, so it was a real easy fix to, um, um, thing to do. So, But the um, cakes I do from scratch, um, you know, you'll know um, when you see the other recipes. So just go follow my page on YouTube on um the page is calvin ramsey i'm also on instagram and facebook um instagram is mr scorpio 13 and for facebook uh, mr scorpio ramsey or uh, you you know whatever <clears throat> so <clears throat> you can go catch it um look at the videos but this kid came out beautiful got the little ridges in it i like my little button pan um i do two layers i do sheets i do all kind of cakes but i always do my bun cake because it's quick and easy for me Especially when I have to work. Like I said, I got to be to work in the morning. So, um, I just did this. And I, now, usually, it depends. If I run out of strawberries, I might take half of this here um, cake and put some icing on it. You don't have to. You can leave it pound. If you don't like icing on your cake, you can leave it pound, like a pound cake if you want. Um, but me, <clears throat> I'm a big dessert fan. I love icing. I love um, drippings. I might make a honey bun glaze. I don't know. I might do that and um, put on the cake. But then again, like I said, um, depends on how much strawberries I have left, um, the um for the cake, I uh, um um put icing on it if I need to. But I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit more before I cut into it because it's still hot. I just pulled it out the oven about say three four minutes ago, so I wanted to cool down just a little bit before I cut into it. Now I'm not gonna take and put the strawberries on the cake. I'm gonna take slices. And I'm going to slice this cake up. <clears throat> and like I said, once um, it cool down, I'm going to slice it up, put it in my little bowl, and show y'all how it look. And then I'm going to watch Coming to America 2. Today is Friday. Well, well, yeah, it's still Friday the 5th, um, 2021. Um, and like I said, it's a raining day out there today. It's raining outside. I just went and threw the trash away and cleaned the house up because I like a clean house. I don't like no dirty kitchen and no dirty house. So... I just got through cleaning up from um, early events when I was making the cake and the strawberries. So <clears throat> the house is clean now. Just waiting for this bad boy to cool down a little bit. I'm going to get my bowl. And I also got some ice cream too as well. Man, you know I'm about to roll. I got some Bluebell homemade vanilla ice cream that I picked up yesterday from the store with me and my sister went and um, made groceries. So I just want you the guys to know that this here dessert was just a little special treat. Now, they got certain way, all kind of ways you can make strawberry shortcake. A lot of people do it like the bakery way, which um, I, I would have did it. But like I said, I just like to do this here to treat myself to a little something fast, quick. Um, and I just call this just a simple, quick um, strawberry shortcake with just the cake and uh, strawberries pulled on top of it. And <clears throat> the whipping cream. Um, which is the half and half, um, and I'll show you how to incorporate that because I know y'all probably saying, well, what do you do with the, the half and half and the whipping cream? But I'm going to show you what um, I'm going to do with that once this cake cool down. Um, I'm going to get my bowl, get everything together. I got Coming to America on my little primetime video from my Amazon Prime so I can watch it. I'm glad it came out. I wanted to see it. Um, <clears throat> So now I got something to, to enjoy with, with this nice dessert that I've just made. And for the folks that's just joining, this is just a quick strawberry shortcake that I made from um, from <clears throat> the box. The cake is made from the box, but the strawberries, you know, I pulsed that myself, you know, real strawberries. Um, and I just added a little sugar, put it in the blender, pulped it up. 
and just got it into chunks and a little juices so that way it, and then you refrigerate it so it can get cool so once i slice it i'm gonna bring this um bring it to y'all in a few so stay tuned and um bear with me on this here because i'm about to um let this cake cool down for another minute and then when we come back like i said i'm gonna put this cake together put the whole stuff together and let y'all see how it, how it is i wish i can taste it because um man i know y'all don't know what y'all missing out on you know but i know how it tastes so i've been making this for years now if i wanted to do the real strawberry shortcake uh which is um go out the whole way with the ice and the strawberry and make it like they do in the bakery i can do that too i can roll with anything you put in front of me i can roll with it i'm a baker and i'm a cook so i'm about to get these skills going I'm bring, be bringing you more videos. So, like I said, um, if you haven't subscribed to my page yet, go subscribe to my page. It's Calvin Ramsey on YouTube. Go subscribe to my page. Show your boss some love. <clears throat> I do all kind of baking, all kind of cooking. So, you know, I'm going to be bringing you recipes each and every week. You know, it might be two, might be three, might be whatever. It depends on my day and if I work or not. It depends. So, Stay tuned, folks. I'm going to come right back, and we're going to put this whole strawberry shortcake together in the bowl, and I'm going to show y'all how it look, and then I'm going to pig out. So, peace. See y'all later. All right, folks, I'm back. Here you go. Now, we're going to take some of that strawberry sauce that we made. We're going to pour over the cake like that. Make sure y'all getting a good look at that. We're going to pour that over there like that. Uh, and this is a real easy strawberry shortcake you can make at home. Um, put your little sugar in there and just sprinkle that over there like that. Let me get some of this, this nice juice. All right. So this is my little version of the small strawberry shortcake. Um, let me see. It's something I won't use too much. Now we're going to take that and we're going to go ahead and cover this here strawberry. Put this back in the fridge. And let that get cool. And hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing here. And I'm going to take your whipped cream. You remember this here, the whipping cream? You can get the whipping cream. Or if you don't like whipping cream because it's liquid flavor, the liquid kind, you can use um, the regular whipped cream. You can put it on top. But I like pouring the whipped cream because it brings a, 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 a different texture to it when you put it on there. And also, if you want, I got some bluebell ice cream to add with it. But that's so much dessert. I don't think I'm going to mess with the ice cream today. But you're going to take a little bit of your... And you're going to sprinkle it on like that. Sprinkle that on there like that. And then you're going to close your whipped cream back up. Put it back in the fridge so it can stay fresh. And there you have it, folks. My version of the strawberry shortcake. Just a little quick something to have. And when you taste it, oh man, look at that. Y'all can see that? Look how beautiful that is. And once you eat it. Mmm. 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 Man. Let me. Y'all just don't understand. Y'all really don't understand. Look how beautiful that is. Nice. Still a little warm. And man. Mmm. 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 Well, this cake make you want the second line, but I don't want to shake all that up. But man, I'm telling you, this is delicious, y'all. Y'all gonna enjoy this treat, this special treat that I made. Um, well, my mama showed me how to make this a long time ago. It's just a little simple strawberry shortcake. And like I said, if you want, don't want to put the um the regular half and half or uh, whipping cream on there. You can use the regular um, whipped cream if you want. Or you can use the one in the can. Whatever you want, that's on you. But I like it this way. Mmm, 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 mmm. Man. I think I did myself again. But. Well, I know y'all hear me smacking. But there you have it, folks. The quick, easy strawberry shortcake made by your boy, Cooking with Kel. Man, man, there's so much I don't even want. Stop eating this bad boy. Mm hmm. Yeah, I got to try this recipe out, y'all. Real quick and easy. Try it out. Tell me what you think. If you want to try it, you can. 
Um, if you do, I'm cool with you. I'm, I'm, I'm down with you. If you don't, that's on you. You don't know what you're missing out on. Man, hold on. I know my greed itself here. Mmm, mmm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All right, folks. So go subscribe to the page, YouTube channel, Calvin Ramsey, Instagram, Mr. Scarpio13, Facebook, Mr. Scarpio Ramsey. Or you can just push my name in there, Calvin Ramsey, on all three of them, and you'll get it. And you'll see me. Man, bro. Mm -hmm. All right, folks. I'm going to enjoy this here cake. I might put a little bluebell on there too as well. Give it a lot of cake and ice cream night. And go watch my movie, Coming to America. So, folks, there you have it again. My quick, short version of the strawberry shortcake. Um, they got various versions of how you can make strawberry shortcake. But this is just a little quick one I like to do when I'm in a rush and when um, I'm home. So, go try it out. Let me know what you think. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe to my page, my channel. So go check it out, folks. I'm going to let you guys go back and do what you do. I'm going to edit this video and bring it to you on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. So y'all go ahead on and um, do what y'all do. Be safe out there. I love all you guys. Um, do something positive. Don't let nobody tell you what you can and cannot do. And keep following your dreams and try to make that money, you know. Because you know I'm about getting this money and trying to make it and trying to be rich one day. So I can open up my restaurant and the chain of restaurants. So I got a lot on my plate I'm dealing with. So I'm just trying to make it, y'all. Trying to do like everybody else. Trying to make it. I'm trying to get a piece of that American pie. But right now it's going to be American shortcake right now because this bad boy rolling. Hmm. All right, folks. Let me let y'all go. Until next time, I'll be bringing you more recipes weekly um, and every chance that I get. Sometimes it might be two recipes a week, might be one a, one a week. It depends on what's, how my schedule looks. So go ahead on, enjoy your weekend, be blessed and be safe. Do something nice and positive, help somebody out if you can. And just stay positive and, and put God first on everything. When you put God first, watch the blessings pour in and watch everything go your way. You know, you can't do it without God. So whatever he's doing, I want to make sure I'm there with him. So until next time, I love you guys again. Peace, love, soul, and um, be blessed. In Jesus' name, amen. See y'all.